Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today for our social media webinar brought to you by Ticketforce. We are Ticketforce's marketing team, Serendipit Consulting, and we are very excited to share some great information with you about how you can use Snapchat to engage with your customers and sell more tickets. If at any point during today's webinar you have a question or comment for us, please feel free to send a tweet to at Ticketforce with the hashtag TFWebinar, and we will be more than happy to answer your question as quickly as we can. Today we will be covering everything you need to know about Snapchat and how to use it for your organization in order to sell more tickets. You may be wondering what Snapchat even is, but don't worry, you will be an expert on this app by the end of this webinar. So what is Snapchat? Snapchat is one of the latest social media applications to really take technology by storm. According to Social Media Examiner, Snapchat allows users to take a picture called a snap that you can send to other users that then disappears between one and 10 seconds of the recipient opening it. It essentially combines photos, videos, and texting, but it has the ability to disappear, whereas an app like Instagram, it would stay there. The Snapchat app is very similar in theory to other social media applications in that you are able to connect with friends and family and share content such as videos and pictures. The design is also very similar. Each user has a friends list that you are able to choose from to send your videos and photos. There is also a feature comparable to a newsfeed or timeline where the snaps that you will receive accumulate. A newer addition to the app is called a story. A story is a snap that is available for up to 24 hours and can be viewed more than once. So a traditional snap, you'd only be able to open once and it disappears within 10 to 20 seconds. The story will actually show up next to the person on your friends list who reported it. Like we said, it's available for 24 hours and then it disappears. You can even go back and watch it as many times as you wish within that 24 hour window. But after the time is up, it's gone forever. We will now get into a little about the history of the app and where it came from. Snapchat was designed in September of 2012 by Evan Spiegel and Bobby Murphy, two students at Stanford, who originally intended for it to just be for a school project. Little did they know, by October 2012, just a little over one year later, the students turned entrepreneurs counted the app to billion snap. This app's success has taken off, becoming an integral part of the social media world. With over 100 million active monthly users and polling over 3 billion in 2013, it is easy to see how this app has changed social media both on an individual level and now for businesses as well. Brands and organizations all over have hopped on the Snapchat train, using the app as a way to promote themselves through coupons, behind the scenes footage of special events, product launches, and user generated content. We know that sometimes numbers speak louder than words, so here are some statistics from Digital Marketing Ramblings we think are sure to convince you of Snapchat's usefulness and relevance in the world of business, and specifically, ticket sales. As we mentioned previously, there are approximately 100 million monthly active users on Snapchat, which is a huge potential market for brands to promote their product or service. In addition, there are around 400 million snaps sent per day, which validates how active the users of the app are. Snapchat is wildly pop popular with the younger generation. Of all of the 18 to 34 year olds in the United States, 32.9% have a Snapchat account and around 70% of college students use Snapchat. Of those college students, 58% said that they would most likely purchase something from a brand if they sent them a coupon through the app. Later on in the webinar, we'll go through over some ideas and best practices for doing just that. Snapchat has seen some extreme growth in users over the last year. The mobile app saw a 67% boost between the months of December 2013 and May 2014. Snapchat's most popular feature is the story. The feature is so popular that there are around 1 billion Snapchat stories viewed per day.
Now that you have seen some statistics that point in favor of using the app for business purposes, let's discuss exactly why Snapchat is a useful app in the world of business. One thing that is important to point out is how Snapchat is more casual than other Facebook media applications. The content on Snapchat has a time limit, but on Facebook it is part of your timeline until you voluntarily delete it. This obviously makes the content on Snapchat extremely temporary, and when you compare this to other social networks like Facebook where the content is more permanent, it gives organizations the power to add a more relaxed flair to what you put out there. The amount of users this social platform boasts is large and still growing, but it is still considered new enough to have some exclusivity to it. The app is already a bit mysterious because of the disappearing feature, but its newness is also enticing. It is sort of viewed as untapped territory, so marketers, others in business, and users are all anxious to see what Snapchat is all about. To add to these points, you already have the audience for this app. Through cross-promotion using your other social platforms like Facebook, Twitter, etc., you can use existing fans to explore this new way of connecting. Entrepreneur.com explains that you should incentivize your audience to join you on Snapchat, and you'll find a whole new way to inter interact with them. To sum it all up, Snapchat is not replacing any of your other social tools. Rather, it is enhancing the way that you engage with existing audiences through sparking their interest in new and exciting ways. We want to now show you some real life examples of businesses using Snapchat to reach their audiences to further illustrate why this app is necessary for your promotional efforts. As reported by Mashable, these brands use Snapchat in ways that reach their audiences in out of the box and creative ways. These examples will show you that marketing your business isn't all work, it can be fun too. Our first example is, involves the ever popular Mexican food chain, Taco Bell. The Taco Bell brand has already made a name for itself across all social platforms as one to watch, and now they are taking over Snapchat. As an early adopter of the app in April 2013, Taco Bell utilized its disappearing feature to announce the return of the coveted Beefy Crunch Burrito. By cross-promoting in their other social networks, their existing followers and fans added them on Snapchat, allowing the brand to make an exciting and secret announcement in a unique way. Our next example comes to us from the East Coast. 16 Handles, a frozen yogurt chain from New York, used Snapchat to engage with their customers. The business told their customers to snap them a picture of themselves at one of their locations, and in return, the brand would snap them back with a coupon. It was either 15%, 50%, or 100% off. Our last example is of the NFL team, the New Orleans Saints. The Saints began using Snapchat back in October of 2013. For now, they just stick to the story feature, but they have plans to utilize it to show behind the scenes footage both on and off the field, team uniforms, and sneak peeks of new merchandise before it even hits stores, just to name a few of their upcoming ideas. As you can see, social media has become an integral part of marketing for many brands across multiple industries. It is easy for your social media to fall into a routine and your content to become just the same old, same old. Lucky for you, Snapchat is here to shake things up a bit. Now that you have seen Snapchat in action, you must be dying to know how the app specifically relates to business and marketing. Although it's taken some time for marketers to figure out just exactly how to integrate this app into their marketing efforts and strategies, some brands and organizations have clearly nailed it. Snapchat creates a sense of urgency among users because the photo or video sent is only available for a short amount of time. Marketing is really all about creating excitement and that sense of urgency that pushes people toward a certain product or service. In this sense, Snapchat is the perfect way to promote a call to action without all the extra fluff and elements that accompany a marketing strategy. If you are a Snapchat user, you may have already noticed large events in your area or worldwide with their own Snapchat story in your feed. Events such as the FIFA World Cup, Mercedes-Benz New York Fashion Week, uh, college football game days, and music festivals like Austin City Limits and the Electric Daisy Carnival, commonly referred to as EDC in Las Vegas, have all made their way to this feature. 
The cool thing about this is attendees at these events are able to take snaps and send them to the event's specific feed for all Snapchat users to view. Even if you're not at the event, and even if it's not a friend of yours, you're able to see what's going on at the event and really uh, be a part of that experience. And sometimes if you're not there, feel like you're missing out too. While this might not seem like a huge marketing effort right off the bat, this feature pulls user-generated content surrounding a certain event, and it really increases and creates that buzz for your organization and for your events. User-generated content for the win. Some ideas for promoting your own events through Snapchat include cross-promotion on multiple social media platforms, showing behind-the-scenes footage of an upcoming event, or maybe even implementing contests and the promotion of coupons and discount codes using Snapchat to directly reach your target audience. Snapchat is really a great platform and no matter what your type of campaign strategy you choose, you know, when you're implementing this for your brand, all will aid you in creating awareness, not only for your organization, but also for the events you host, the tickets you sell, and we're gonna talk about that next. By now you should be convinced that your organization's online presence can't live without Snapchat. We are now going to go through step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up the app for all your business endeavors. You'll be surprised at how simple it really is. Step number one. Find a smartphone or tablet that you can designate for the use of this app. Step two is download the Snapchat app and create a unique username that coincides with your branding. Make it easy for people to search you. And for example, if we were to create a Snapchat account for Ticketforce, we'd want to keep it consistent with everything we're using on other social media outlets. So if you want to find Ticketforce on Facebook, it's facebook.com backslash Ticketforce. Our Twitter handle is at Ticketforce. So you really want to keep things consistent. The third step is to find people to follow. You can do this by searching username or phone number. We recommend starting this way and then promoting your own username on your other social platforms for your followers to then add you on the app. And we guarantee that this pretty much does all the work by itself, just letting people know that you're now on Snapchat without even giving a username, you'll see a huge increase in followers. The fourth and final step is to start snapping. Brainstorm clever content you can send to your followers and contests you can implement. We've already given you a few ideas, but the possibilities are endless. Call a team meeting and start thinking of ideas that your audiences would best respond to. So you already know that Snapchat is quickly becoming the social media platform of choice for recent marketing efforts. And through the sense of urgency created with this app, it is also the perfect social media platform for promoting ticket sales. For events such as concerts, rodeos, sporting events, or anything that requires a ticket, attendees are always looking for a discount or something that makes them feel important and is if they have some exclusive first look into an upcoming event. By using the strategy of sending a snap of a discount code to your valued customers, you will have the ability to retain customers and sell more tickets. This shows customers that you are keeping them at top of mind and want them to have the best overall experience at whatever event you may be hosting. Customer service is key no matter what industry you may be working in. Another strategy for selling more tickets using Snapchat is to pay attention to your demographic. Target those younger audiences with this app, especially for concerts which showcase artists that appeal to those of this age group. For example, if the teeny bopper band One Direction is coming to town, showcase behind the scenes footage of pre-show activities. Those who follow you on Snapchat will buzz with excitement at the sight of Harry Styles in the green room impromptu practice sessions, etc., and will likely tell their friends about it too, gaining you even more followers. This is where word of mouth advertising really takes off. Next, integrate giveaways and contests into your ticket selling strategy like 16 Handles did. Generate new leads and promote your organization through the simple task of promoting this action on your other social media accounts. Say something along the lines of, Add our venue on Snapchat and we'll snap you a discount code, enter you into our contest for an upcoming event. This final strategy is directed more towards any bigger events such as a festival, popular rodeo, or a large concert. Create a story for attendees to submit their own snap to, therefore utilizing that user-generated content we talked about earlier. 
you will be amazed at just how many people would participate. And if you've never heard of the expression FOMO, which stands for fear of missing out, this strategy will definitely promote it. People will be seeing these snaps and wishing they were there. For people who are on the fence about an event, seeing other snap stories about the event will really make them wish that they really had gone and get tickets for next year. More than likely, they will buy tickets for next year. We've already established that there's a huge opportunity for growth within Snapchat and promoting upcoming events. Before you begin Snapchatting your customers, here are a few tips to keep in mind. Understand your demographic. First, we already mentioned that the application's demographic is on the younger side, so make sure to do some research on what this demographic's interests are and how to best appeal to them. The next thing you'll want to do is experiment with the time restrictions. Snapchat can only send photos and video that are 10 seconds long or less. So while this time constraint can pose some kind of an op some obstacles, it can also give a way for the opportunity to be really creative and promote your brand in a really unique way. In addition, the suspense factor creates excitement in the user experience, no matter if your snap is two seconds or 10 seconds long. So use your imagination and really have fun with it. The third tip is to be yourself. Although the main objective of a marketing campaign is to gain exposure for your brand and the products and services you provide, don't forget to showcase your organization's personality too. Organizations these days are going the more personable route so that they may gain leads, fans, followers, and really building that trusting relationship with those different target audiences. Not everything needs to be business professional all the time, so have some fun with it, and Snapchat is a really great platform to do just that. Now that you are an expert on Snapchat, you should keep these three things in mind before using the app to promote your organization and generate ticket sales. The first thing to remember is to not take yourself too seriously. While business can be stressful, Snapchat is quite the opposite. Use this app to create fun and buzzworthy content for your fans and potential fans to engage with and share with their own networks. Secondly, keep the app's sense of urgency in mind when creating campaigns. As we have discussed previously, the sense of urgency created because of the app's disappearing feature is the perfect opportunity to include explicit calls to action. No campaign you create should live without a good call to action that pushes your audience to buy tickets, follow your organization on other social media platforms, or attend the event you are promoting. You really want to keep your organization top of mind and make sure that people are always thinking about you. Finally, use this app to cross promote with your other social networks like Twitter and Facebook. I know we've said this a few times, but it really is important and you want to help build an audience on all of those channels. The more ways that people can find you, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, the more likely you are to build really loyal fans who are going to buy tickets from you, not just once, but become loyal fans who will be repeat customers. We hope that the information discussed in today's webinar will help your organization get a jump start with Snapchat. As always, we will be selecting two lucky winners who attended our webinar to win a Starbucks gift card. Be sure to check your email to see if you won. If you have a question about today's webinar, feel free to contact us via Facebook or Twitter. Also, if there is a social media outlet or topic you'd like to see us discuss in a future webinar, send a tweet to at TicketForce. We are open to suggestions and really want to provide you with content that's going to be helpful for your organization. Thank you for attending today's webinar and we hope to see you again in our next one. Make sure that you do like us on Facebook. Again, it's just facebook.com backslash TicketForce. And also follow us on Twitter. It's just at TicketForce. You'll see any updates about upcoming webinars, toolkits, 